Hello and welcome to Bed Wars. Today, instead of doing a really bad first person commentary, I'm going to be doing it in third person. Uh, hopefully, I can make some slightly more meaningful commentary and tell you guys a little bit more about how I play and what's going on in the game and my thought process through my games. So, here we are. Uh, the background is I did start recording this a little bit late, so I already attempted the first rush uh, and then. I pvp red, unfortunately, uh, his huge wool thing, I couldn't find his bed in time before he respawned, and so this is the second time machine. So, let's uh, start the play right here. So there, I get iron armor, iron armor is very overpowered, uh, right at the beginning of the game. Here's the guy still covering his bed with uh, more wool. Shears would be pretty helpful, but um, I don't quite have enough for Shears at the moment, and he knows that, so Wool's actually a pretty decent defense, having more than one layer of Wool. I go down, Iron Armor, I'm far more stacked than him, he misses his aim, that's an easy combo. Uh, then I go with his bed. Unfortunately for me, uh, it's quite a game of try to find a bed because of just how big his defenses. So here we go, there's the second PvP encounter, and uh, I get some blocks. The first rush is complete. At this point, I will probably uh, go for diamonds and either push them out or go mid right after diamonds. This is a very early game, which means that it's unlikely other teams will have been at mid yet, uh, or being at mid and is more stacked than me, so I don't see a reason to cash it on diamonds just yet. So there we go. I probably picked up two or three diamonds from the gen there, and I, uh, there we go. Here, I'm going to mid, I'm going to get all AMs. Now if we look at the other, what the other teams are doing right now, none of the other teams have completed their first rush yet. It's all pretty active in fighting, which is pretty good for me. So there, I'm already returning from mid. Uh, it wasn't a very first rush, very fast first rush by any means, but it's fortunately uh, it's quite fortunate for me that most of the other teams are very fairly well matched, so the first rush takes them a bit of time. Here, uh, I have 8 M's and 5 diamonds. I'm gonna go. I tend to buy diamond armor, and uh, let's see, so I bought sharp, and uh, a trap, and diamond armor, and it, I'm in this pot. So, because I have a diamond armor, I don't really need pot at the moment. Um, diamond armor isn't great without pot, it's a lot better with pot, but it's fine for now. Um, I don't want to run any diamond gens just yet, uh, because the other teams are pretty much still fighting and don't want to be involved in that. Uh, so at this point, uh, I believe yellow bed has been destroyed by aqua, so I take this opportunity to go directly for aqua, because I know I am far more stacked than him, he's definitely going to be caught off guard. I invis, he, I know he sees that I'm invis, but it's just to make him panic a little bit. He drops down, he's going to start swinging wildly. He gets comboed. Uh, I no longer have invis, but that's fine. Diamond armor and sharp, that's way beyond what he has. And there is a second PvP encounter, and uh, I pick him out. So at this point, uh, pink bed's also gone, which means white is now headed towards me, which is a very intelligent uh, for white. Uh, that's actually quite a fast bridge. I run, I run the diamonds, I didn't think my better be gone this quickly, and at this point I think I realized, but it's way too late to void, so I let him get my bed. Uh, mid is pretty clean right now, there's no one at mid, so I run more emeralds, and I'm probably just gonna start cashing in on more emeralds here. So at this point, white's in the game, both aqua and yellow are out, and uh, let's see, are green and blue still fighting, or has it been gone? Okay, so blue bed seems to be gone. So now green, he's not stacked at all because he was first rushing the entire time. So, but green is, uh, he's now free to do whatever he wants. Uh, we have white, who has taken the liberty of taking the diamonds again and heading to my base. It seems that he's almost uh, admitted that his bed's going to be gone, which is interesting because he totally had time to avoid there. Not sure why he didn't. Um, he had uh, minor fatigue, but now that he sees the trap go off, he is almost certainly not going to avoid. So I take some time breaking bed. Let's see what white does here. So white's gonna go mid, I think. Yep. No. 
what seems to be going for green, which is interesting that he's trying to take out a bit when he doesn't have one himself. If he went mid, uh, this game would be a lot more difficult for me. But I got even more M's now. I have more pots. Um, you can hear I'm buying a ton of stuff. So I have a ton of gapples, sharp iron, pots, prot, diamond. I'm most definitely the most stack person in this game. Uh, green does have a bed, so it does make sense for green to be chasing white, uh, in the case that uh, he does get white, he gets both the final and a bunch of M's. So that's not a, uh, that's a pretty good move by green. I see that green's going to be chasing white, and white's probably going to be running for green base. So I run through mid, uh, because hopefully that will bring me to them a little bit quicker. White tries to jib bridge, and he fails. I'm now at green. I'm far more stacked than green. So I go invis, he sees me go invis, but there's not much you can do uh, because I have invis speed and jump. So I'm pretty much just gonna try to stay out of his way a little bit. He's, yeah, he tries to squeeze me, that's not gonna work. Break his bed. At this point, I'm still on full health because he hasn't seen my invis yet. Uh, he tries to open a chest, which is not going to go well, considering he's fighting an Invis player, and that's GT. There's the end of the game. 